Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but God's plan for your life is so dope that once you finally grasp the perspective of how he sees your life and how he sees you, you will be grateful that all of that went down just the way that it did. I know that anxiety may be trying to tell you and whisper in your ear lies to you. And honestly, sometimes that anxiety will try to prophesy over our situation. But we got to remember who's got the plan and how he will never, ever fail. And once we honestly grab a hold of this idea, then we can see that everything is going just like it is planned to go. Look, God never left you, okay? I want to say that, but God never will leave you either. We just sometimes get a dirty conscience, so then we feel like we can't go to God. But that's when you need to run to him the fastest. I mean, what this entire thing is about anyway, getting to God faster and faster each time. But the question remains, will you run to him or will you stay stuck in that sin? Will you let the father's love in or will you stay in the idea that the devil is trying to whisper to you? Look, God is saying to someone right here, right now, he's got you and he always has. His love for you will never, ever change, and he will never fail you, and he won't start today. His plans for you are so great and mighty, and that's why it's honestly been a little more difficult to break this thing, because this thing comes down from the family line, and it's been passed down from generation to generation. But let me say this, it stops with you. It ends with you. It started with God calling you to himself. Like this emptiness back there that no matter how high we got, no matter how drunk we got, we just couldn't seem to feel better. That's because he is the ultimate and only healer. 1 Peter 2, 24 says it like this. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. We just need to receive that forgiveness and stop allowing the devil to control us by every little thought. See, the devil knows how powerful you are with God living inside of you. That's why he tries to deceive you. That's why he tries to trick you. He only wants you to give up right here. So come on, child of God. You cannot give up right here. You hear me? And you've got this. Listen, you are going to be made completely new. There is just a process to this thing. Just give God some time to work it all out. Yes, I know it's been hard. Yes, I know it feels like everything is stacked up against you. But that's how you know you are chosen for such a time as this. And listen, the devil isn't going to let you go easily. But I want to prophetically speak this over you right now. The devil's time is up in your life. Watch what Revelation 12, 9 says. And the great dragon was thrown down. That ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to earth and his angels were thrown down with him. So just remind that enemy today. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You've already been defeated, bro. So get back under my feet where you belong. See, when you chose to ride with God, you are choosing it for the generational implication that your faith has. Because it will literally bleed down to your children's children. And God will sustain them through any and all, just like he has with you. You know, I know that breakup feels like it's the end. I know that heartache is trying to tell you that that's all it will ever be. But I'm telling you, that pain that you're feeling can produce something to the point of you getting your dreaming back. I don't know who this message is for, and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart. But what happened in the past doesn't have to define you any longer. It doesn't have to define you any longer. Listen, I, I know they hurt you, and I know what they did to you was awful, and I want to apologize for them. But, but it's time to let go. It, it's only hurting you now. It's literally dragging you down, and you know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. You know exactly what I'm talking about, sis. It's time to let go and remember that God's got this thing. This has all been a part of his plan. And he had to let you go through this so you can get the wisdom and the keys. Here it is right here to help others. That's how this thing works. 
So remember who wrote the playbook. Remember who calls the shots. Remember whose you are. Listen, he will never let you go. He will never turn his back on you. No sin, no devil, no demon can change his mind about you. While I absolutely agree and we can see it in scripture, God hates sin. But that's because it separates us from him, which totally goes against his plan of salvation for your life. Romans 8, 28 says it like this. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So he's trying to show you that everything will work together to accomplish what he's already planned for your life. See, we can put God in this little tiny small box and it's time to take him out of that box now. This is why God is putting this video on your screen. He says to take him out of the box. He doesn't see you like that anymore. And he wants to show you a new level of love that destroys all strongholds. But what are you filling up with? Where are you going to get strength when you're feeling weak? You know, when that temptation arises to go and use or to go and look at that website, find the Bible, find God. Acts 7.27 says it like this, that they should seek God and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. Yet, he is actually not far from each one of us. So the second that you try and search him out, it won't take you long to see that he is right there. We just turned and started paying attention to something else. We got so hyper-focused on something else that we forgot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's right there. That means he saw it all. We just need to fix our thoughts. Fix what we're focused on. Then boom. Come on, come on. Then boom, right there, we find him. Listen to me. Listen to me when I say this. God's got the plan. God's got the plan. And his plan is good. His plan is way better than any plan we could even attempt to implement. Think about how Jesus cursed that fig tree for a second. Not only is this showing the human side of Jesus because it literally says in the word he was hungry. It is showing the power in our words. When we allow Jesus to be our Lord, our words have so much power. When Jesus inhabits us, we have that same power coursing through our veins. It's like our DNA has been crying out for this right here our entire lives. Our souls needed to feel his presence and feel his spirits. And once we do, you can't go long without spending time with him. So speak to that issue. Speak to that anxiety. Speak to that depression. Speak to that addiction. Listen, if Jesus can tell that fig tree to wither up, then you can do the same to that issue. Mark 11, 22 through 23 says it like this. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you. If anyone says to this mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they have asked will happen, it will be done for them. See, this is why Jesus did what he did on the cross. So we would have access, me and you, all of us would have access to the same spirit, to the same God that empowered Jesus to do the things that he did. So literally, you have no idea the power that you have in your words, the power that is coursing through your veins. It's in those prayers. It's in your faith. And this was God's plan from the very beginning of time. You've got God living in you. And that's the power that you have to speak the word over that issue. Speak the word to that Goliath. Speak the word to that mountain of fear. So right here at the end of this video, type this. Say, I speak life to my situation and it shall be so listen i love you so much i'll see you on the next one